been getting a lot of questions about YouTube and YouTube channels. I know a lot of you guys out there have YouTube channels. You're trying to grow them. It's right in the beginning of your YouTube journey and you got a lot of questions. And so today, I'm gonna do my best to answer those questions. Try to give you guys a little YouTube incentive to power through the beginning because it is hard in the beginning. And uh, not that I got a big channel, but I've been where you are at. I'm gonna start off by saying it is really tough in the beginning. You know, your first 50 subscribers are gonna be way harder than your next 50. Your first 100 subscribers are gonna be way harder to get than your the next 100. It is definitely one of those things that it has a snowball effect. It's just the nature of YouTube. It's just how it works. The more content you put up, the more you are likely to be discovered. And then when somebody does see that, even if they don't subscribe on the first video, YouTube will list other videos of yours, offer them up to that person in the future. And so they may watch one, just a sporadic video they found of yours. YouTube will offer up some more. They'll watch a couple more over the next month and then, then become a subscriber. So getting them to watch the first video is a big thing to do. The way you do that is have more content. 200 videos is gonna be way better floating around the internet than two videos or 50 videos. And the only way you can put in that work is just a slow process. A video a day, a video a week, a video a month. Now I will say, the longer it is between videos, the harder it's gonna be for you to grow, okay? And you want good content too. So you wanna make sure that it's content worthy of subscription. Everything you put online, you wanna to try to make it worthy of subscription. Because that one video that they watch of yours may be the only one they watch, and if it's worthy of subscription, then you gained a follower. There's more that goes into this too. It's not just about subscribers. The more videos you have out there, the more shares you get, more stuff that could hit Facebook or uh, Reddit or StumbleUpon or wherever those people are sharing your videos. The more you have out there, the more likely they are to share it, the more it's gonna grow your channel, the more it's gonna grow your presence. And that's really what it's all about. Growing that presence, being seen, getting people into your ecosystem, you know, sharing your life with them. That's what most of you guys do, share your life with them. But you gotta work at it. It ain't, it ain't easy. I will tell you this, I think the first year of my channel, now I didn't really have, uh, I didn't really have content that was that worthy of subscription, but that being said, I only got maybe 26 subscribers my first year. Keep that in mind, the first year. I do about 5,000 new subscribers a month now. So I got 26 in the first year. Like I said, there's that growth, right? Once it starts, it's got that snowball effect and it's just gonna take off. Now this is the key though. This is the key for you. This is where you need to listen. This is where you need to take some notes. Because when you're working hard and you're making videos two days, three days, five days a week, and they're good videos, worthy of subscription videos, but you're not gaining any traction, it's hard to keep going. Trust me, I know. So that's really when you need to, in the beginning is when you need to be doing it for the love of sharing what it is that you do. Don't worry about a huge following and a business and all that stuff. Do it for the love of what you do. Share what you do. Share the love of what you do. Does that make sense? Share the love of what you do. Yeah, share, share the love. Make sure you're loving what you do. Share that. The passion will show through the camera and then over time you'll gain traction and you'll, you'll be rewarded for all the work that you put in in the beginning. The other thing is, the other key thing that you have to really, really concentrate on in YouTube, and most people are pretty good about this, but you gotta be genuine. You can't be trying to BS people or act like somebody you're not because that ain't gonna work. People can see right through that these days. There's so much realness that they can see the fake. You gotta be you, and if that's you crawling out of bed in the morning with your hair like this, Film it, it's you, it's who you are. If that's how you roll out of bed every morning, film it. People actually like that. Anyway, I don't usually do this kind of stuff. I'm usually in here working on hot rods or building something, so I'm gonna get back to that. But I know a lot of you guys out there are trying to build these channels. I've talked to several of you guys, so I just kinda wanted to give you my two cents 
on how to grow your YouTube channel. Hope that helped. If you want to hang around, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Go do work, son. Thank you.